Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. And today we are going to be building something that is, quite frankly, a little bit terrifying. We're going to be building a hexapod. And if you don't know what a hexapod is, it's kind of a, well, it is exactly, it is a six legged uh, thing. Usually, you know, some kind of uh, robot that can walk. And I just want to make sure I get it all nicely centered. It seems a bit, seems a bit long. Hmm. And these can be really tricky to build because you've got to figure out a whole bunch of robotic-y automation things. Uh, and that usually, uh, it takes a little bit of time and it's tricky and so on. So I have gone and done some of that offline and I have a piece of paper with instructions on which order to put things down in, which might help. So what you do with a hexapod is you have six mechanical legs that um, turn uh, in kind of opposite order, if that makes sense. No, it doesn't really. I'll show you later. And they will provide us with the uh, motion of the uh, of the thing. It's going to walk on its own. So the first thing to worry about is we need to get down a uh, sort of set of legs. And um, these legs are going to propel us. Once we get them down, it's time to kind of animate them. Uh, and that's where things usually go disastrously wrong. So we first of all want a element that kind of sticks out. Um, and we might want to do that on a slight, slight angle. Okay, so I've got the first part of the legs down. And what I need to do now is connect these up so that I can have a degree of control over the starting positions. I'm going to put one controller just at that front seam there. Why not? And we need to connect it to these rotators because these rotators are just going to be uh, static. We're not going to use them to turn the legs. I just want to give the uh, starting position of the legs a little bit of an angle. Okay, that's done. Good. Now, if I take out, let's have a look. Where's my up arrow buried under my piece of paper? Bonk. Oh, don't go. <laughs> don't go bananas on me. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just, just stop it. All right. It wants to go be with its people. Why are you twitching so crazily? Okay, so this is the next section of leg. It's not the very longest. Actually, no, it's one of the longest. It's not the final position of the leg, though. So it's twitching. <laughs> it just wants to be free. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's awesome. If I make it go up and then make it fall down, you'll see how the legs just fall. Blonk through the floor. All right, sit there and lower yourself on my head. Good. Now we need to set those joints. Um, where is that joint? This joint here uh, basically is the one that's going to move. And uh, this one out here is the one that when we place it is going to be kind of fixed. So we need to throw on a section of leg here. It's another long section. That's going to be the bottom of the feet, basically. Bonk. Good. So those are... Okay, you can stop twitching now. Those are raised slightly, which is good. From there, we need those joints to be basically uh, set at kind of a minus... Uh, it depends on the rotation. Let me have a look. We'll connect them up first. A minus a bunch is essentially what I'm trying to say. All right, so that's kind of the starting position. Good. And now, ah. <laughs> no, not that way. That way. Good. Oh, I did get them around the wrong way. What an egg. Uh, <laughs> come here. Um, all right. Good. I think. Oh, we've got room for George in here. He can be the balance on the other side. Come on, George. Uh, where are you, George? You can sit right there. Thank you. 
So we connect the button to here. And now we need to connect to all of these rotating pieces. Uh, so there's one there. One. I've got to get this right or it will be really troublesome. Yeah. One. Come on. There. So that's actually looking about right. It's being a little wonky. I must confess. That's a bit concerning. <laughs> but I do have a feeling for what needs to be done now. So um, starting position. All right. So let's make sure that uh, blue is clockwise. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And yes, it is. Good. OK, so here we go. Starting position for the first leg is forward uh, 30 degrees. All right, 15 degrees seems like enough movement, it means I'll have a total of 30 degrees sway back and forth, which is fine. Now what we need to do is make it so that they will uh, turn. So first of all, the legs that are forward, uh, they have to do uh, nothing while the foot goes down. Then they go back 30 degrees. Uh, and then they do nothing, and then they go forward 30 degrees. Okay, so what we have done is got all of those two sequence, hopefully, correctly. And one way to test it is to do this. Why are they waiting for each other? That doesn't seem right. There's something going wrong here. Oh, look at that. That's actually... Let me just zoom out a bit. That's the way a hex bug should work. Okay, cool. So with six joints, we now have to put in a whole new button, which I have done. And uh, I need to connect it to the chair. And this, oh, this is going to be a job. It needs to connect to these joints here. Okay, so it has the legs suspended. That would be a good starting position for all of them. Except at this point, some of the legs need to be down. So let me have a look at which ones need to be down on my piece of paper. So number one needs to be down, which means it needs to go, uh, not that one, this box. Number one, you should be, try 60 down. No, try that other way. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, I'm okay with that. That works. Yeah, all right. And uh, we'll just work it out as we do. Ooh. Ooh. Now, it doesn't quite know what it wants to do yet, but it has the general idea. These springs are a little springy. Uh, okay. So then what we do is at this position here, we drop one set of legs and raise the other set. Okay, I think I've set it up. So I have to hold down both buttons when I'm in the driving seat to make this thing work. But let's see what happens now. So the theory is... Whoop. All right, here we go. Oh, dear. Oh, some of them have got their joints around the wrong way. Um, <laughs> okay. No, don't drive off without me. Whoa, crazy spider. It's just hopping from leg to leg. <laughs> it's doing a weird dance is it actually it's not quite right yet there's something out of order on the sequence it's trying to go forwards and backwards and I had to change the end of the, end of the legs because they were just causing too many problems those springs Right, might have it this time. I don't think I had a pause in in the right place. Ooh. It, it's not going forwards. But it is getting there. Why is it dropping to the ground? <laughs> oh, you silly thing. It's going backwards. Yeah. Well, I'd like to say we wanted to go backwards, but that's not really true no 
come back to me not like that stop it stop it all right here we go final optimized test no no that's not perfect not by a long shot Oh dear. One of the legs is going haywire. No. No, that's not the right sequence. And look! This is going to work. It's working! Hooray! It's not exactly the fastest. And I do have to be a little bit careful about button presses. The leg sway button has to be held down for kind of a half second before the, the leg end movements are. But this is working. This hexabug will take over the world. I had to go and uh, figure out how to get everything sequenced nicely on a piece of paper again. I'm not too sure my initial calculations were correct. So once I'd done that, uh, and you know you're playing a good game when you have to build a truth table, right? That's what those sorts of diagrams are. Once I sorted that out and then sat down and re refigured things in here, well, it works. Beautifully. I'm really chuffed. We shall now leave you to conquer the world if we don't get stuck on trees. <laughs> keep it up, keep it up. Come on, my minions. And the best part is I can also make it go backwards if I if I wait for the legs to go the other direction and then press two. There we go. Going backwards. Lovely. Maybe I can climb this mountain. <laughs> okay, so it's not very good on hills. But anyway, I'm counting this as a success. Until next time, I've been Tiny Pirate. Do subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. Give me some more challenges in the comments below. Kind of tempted to build a kind of zipline roller coaster type thing soon. Have fun. Good night. Come back soon.